Chapman should stay behind bars. The message was clear and stern. Nearly three dozen fans gathered at Central Park's Strawberry Field Wednesday, calling on New York State to deny parole to Mark David Chapman, the man who murdered John Lennon nearly 38 years ago. Chapman is preparing for his 10th parole hearing. Spearheaded by Assemblywoman Nicole Malatakis and Q104.3's Jim Kerr, the group has growing concerns about Chapman walking free. If you look at the history just over the last six months by the most recent parole board, you are seeing murderers, dangerous criminals being released back onto our streets. Among them, Herman Bell convicted of murdering two New York City police officers, Robert Hayes convicted of killing a transit patrolman, and Mary Beth Tinning, a mom accused of killing nine of her children. All were recently granted parole in New York State. There are some crimes that are just so heinous that the only proper remedy is for them to be denied liberty for the rest of their life. All right, we've seen countless murderers be released by the parole board that the governor himself has appointed, and he has remained silent. The idea of Chapman getting paroled disturbed longtime fans like David Muniz. Why let him out? Why take a chance? Because he talks sweet into some psychiatrist's ears? No. Chapman, who is serving a 20 year to life sentence, faces the parole board next week. A decision on his future expected to be made within two weeks. At Strawberry Fields in Central Park, I'm Andrew Ramos, Fix 11 News.